Yeah. Alright guys, I'm joined here by Liam Walsh. Liam, first thing, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good. You've been working for a big fight, you know, a big total fight as well for a while now. Yeah. How excited are you about this final you call? I'm buzzing, mate. I couldn't have been, um, I can't be any happier with how it all unfolded and where we're at fighting the number one American for a world title. Um, it's what I always dreamed of, winning a world title against the best, not against, you know, I don't want to be a, a Mickey Mouse world champion, so to speak. I want to be a real world champion. I'm going to beat this guy, I will be. You are very in the game, you're a very tough opponent in Javante. We had a terrific performance against uh, Pedraza uh, in his last fight when he won the belt. Uh, what are you expecting off him now? How impressed was you with that victory? Oh, I was very impressed with him. I thought he was really good. Um, I thought he, he, he looked brilliant. Um, I've, seen, I've seen quite a lot of his fights. I've seen a lot of his fights before before the Pedraza fight as well. I, I'm a boxing fan, a big boxing fan. I am. Um, I study a lot of fighters around around and about um, my way, so um, I knew a lot. I knew of him anywhere, but um, he looks good. He looks really, really. He looks world class. He's a world champion. He's, you know, he's, I can't I can't downgrade him in anywhere. What does he possess that you haven't come up against previously? Um, probably explosive power, explosive speed. Um, probably. Um, <laughs> pretty much everything that he's about yeah I don't know if I've come up against I've certainly not come up against no opponent like him you know he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a hard he's a hard he's a, he's, he's a rare style he's a safe pole with explosive power explosive speed he's, um, he's decent he's very good how do you like deal with that or handle him on a fight night yeah um, you've got you've got to find ways around it and that'll come you know I've got good ideas I'm not I can't now start telling you exactly who I think I think the best way to go about it is, but I haven't even agreed on that yet with Graham and my team. But um, I've got a good idea of how I feel I should go about this fight, and I'll adapt. I'll also adapt in the fight, uh, adapt and adapt and keep adapting if I have to. But I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to do everything I can to win. How much of a difference do you think being a home fighter will make in this fight as well? Um, it all depends. If, it, if we're talking judges and scorecards, things like that, then, then none. I, I expect them all to be completely fair and, and neutral, um, which they will be. You, you know, boxing gets too much stick for that, and it's, it's not the case. It, 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 obviously, we do get the odd one but then you do in any sport football anything you get where people think oh he's been jogged but I'm, I'm not I'm not um, banking on any any thinking that because I'm at home I'll be at an advantage it's how he copes with coming over here so two weeks early in the cold in the you know living out of a hotel room that's the, the mind the more minor details are, are what are what can affect you what about the perspective of the fans and the atmosphere on the night? How do you think he could deal with that? I think if he went to he went over to New York for Pedraza. I know he's Baltimore is quite close, about an hour from New York anyway, so he might have felt like he was still pretty much at home anywhere. But um, that was a good atmosphere, a tense atmosphere, and he strolled to the ring like he was just walking down the, through the park really and, and done his job. So I shouldn't think that'll affect him much. Um, I think the only thing that's going to affect him is going to be me. How do you see the fight unfolding? Um, it's difficult, it's difficult that one because if everything's going to plan, if everything's going to plan, then I don't know, I've got a feeling that it won't go to points. I've got a feeling it won't go to points. What, what would a victory do for your career? You know? Would you be looking to straight away you know, a couple of defences and look to unify? Um, I hadn't even thought that far. I'd, I think it'd be crazy to think anywhere past this fight. Um, my full focus is on Giovanna Davis and um, it will be until that final bell rings. When you were set up on the stage, you know, you're literally a few seats down from Ford now, one of the best ever boxers, especially of this generation. You know, how surreal is that for you? Yeah, it was, it was a bit surreal. It's pretty funny as well. He's, he's quite entertaining. He, um, this is some funny stuff. We've just done a little like round the table thing there and he had a lot to say. It was amusing. It was good. Um, it's good for TV. It's good for viewings. He'll, you know, wherever Floyd is, he bring, people come, you know, people want to see him and hear what he has to say. So, it was, it was, yeah, it was a bit surreal though. Yeah, it was funny. It's good. Do you think it maybe it possibly just overshadows yourself or Javante as well? Yeah, yeah. I think I think he enjoys that as well. I think he is, you know, is wherever he goes, it has to be the Floyd Mayweather show. Otherwise, the toys are straight out the pram, aren't they? But that's um, that's his business. That's up to him what he wants to do. I'm, I, for me, they can ask him all the questions. I don't want to be asked any questions. I'm happy with no media attention whatsoever. So you can ask, with him being that, it makes it better for me. Yeah, Thank you. Cheers, Thank mate. you. Spot on.